In this demo, we'll show how to connect Power BI to a Synapse instance in a VNet. So here I have a Power BI report using the dedicated SQL pool in a Synapse in a VNet as data source, and I've published it to the Power BI reports, um, Power BI service. Within Power BI service, you can see that um, it's saying fail to test the connection of your data source. This is because the VNet that the Synapse is sitting in is preventing Power BI to talk to the dedicated SQL pool. And we will need to set up the needed infrastructure for this connection to happen. You can also verify that the Synapse is in a managed VNet by looking at the overview page of the um, Azure portal. The Synapse instance, you can see in the managed virtual network, it's marked as yes. That means this Synapse instance is sitting within a managed VNet managed by Microsoft. So traditionally, if you want Power BI to talk to a data source in the VNet, you would have your Power BI uh, SaaS instance over here. And then you will have your VNet that has your data source within it. And in order for the Power BI to talk to your data source, you need to install something called Gateway. And it can be a VNet gateway managed by Power BI, or it can be an on-prem gateway where you will need to manage all of the patching, all of the um, scaling yourself as a virtual machine sitting in your VNet. So um, in this architecture, the gateway is talking to Power BI and it's allowing Power BI to connect to the data source in the VNet. However, in the case where Synapse is sitting in a managed VNet, you actually don't have access to this VNet because it's managed by Microsoft and your Synapse sitting within it doesn't allow you to install anything in the VNet itself. Um, so what you have to do in this instance is to set up a different VNet called VNet2. And within this VNet, you will set up the gateway that we talked about and then set up a private endpoint for Synapse to speak to this VNet. And with the private endpoint and the gateway, Power BI will be able to connect to the um, Synapse in the managed VNet. So how it works in reality is we have a VNet here, which is the VNet2 that we showed in the in uh, in the diagram, we have a subnet here that's dedicated to the VNet gateway that can speak to Power BI. And I've written a step-by-step -step -step tutorial on how to set this up. I'll put that in the description of um, this demo. And in this case, we are going to set up the private endpoint to this VNet so that Synapse can connect to this VNet and with the gateway Power BI will be able to connect to the Synapse in the managed VNet. So first thing we're going to do is to set up a subnet, we'll call it Synapse subnet and you can set up all the uh, network security groups to make it even more secure, um, give you more granular control over what type of um, traffic and security control can actually talk to the private endpoint. So um, we can we can set one up, and then because we had network security group selected, we're gonna do the private endpoint network policy as enabled and we'll add the subnet. Once we add the subnet, what we can do is we can go over to the Synapse um, instance in the Azure portal. 
here we're in the Synapse um, instance of the actual portal. We are going to go to the private endpoint connector and we're going to create a new private endpoint. So the we can select the resource group we want to um, use. So in this case, I want to set it up in a specific resource group and I will give it a name. We'll call it Synapse um, Private Endpoint connect to Power BI and, and then we can change the region if we want to but we want it to be in the same region as we're using Synapse with and then we can go to resources select the resource type here we want Synapse workspaces and then select the workspace that we want to connect the private endpoint with. And then here you can select the dedicated SQL pool. That's what we're using as a data source, but you can also do SQL on demand if you're using serverless instead. So for the network, it selected the virtual network that we have available in the resource group that we have selected. We can select our subnet and here we can enable the um, network policy um, if we want to and then we can do next. You can set up DNS if you want to or just click next, next, next. For now, it should let us pass validation and then we'll create the private endpoint resource. Right, but now the deployment is successful. We can go back to the Synapse instance and look at the private endpoint connections. It will say you got a private endpoint connection set up and the status is approved. And now what we can do is to go back to Power BI um, service. And instead of updating credentials uh, here, if we update credentials, it wouldn't work because it's not the credentials that's causing the connection issue. It's the networking um, security that's causing the connection issue. So we're going to go to gateways. We're going to do, yes, we are we're going to allow the gateways to run. We already have the VNet gateway running. Uh, we are going to select this data source and, and do new data source. And we're going to do apply. And now it's applied. You can see that the data source no longer arrows out. It says it's granted the access and the credentials not needed. Now what we can do is to go over to the um, workspace and then we can kick off a refresh now. It should give us the completed as a the refresh history. As you can see, the refresh now has finished and it says it's been completed. So now Power BI is able to speak to the synapse in the VNet via this gateway that we set up and via the private endpoint.